Welcome to LearnLogicPro.com. Let's look at adding a loop into the Apple Loop browser. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. So the first thing I want to do is over on the right hand side in the media bin, we're going to look at Apple Loops. And here are the Apple Loops. Okay. And so I have some Apple Loops that are on my desktop. And I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you how to bring in an individual Apple Loop off the desktop and a folder. So first thing, I'm going to drag in an individual Apple Loop, and you'll notice I've just dragged it from my desktop off a different monitor into this Loop browser. Now, if you do not see the plus symbol, something's gone wrong, but you should see a plus symbol letting you know you're going to be adding it to this. Uh, keep an eye on the, the name, so, um, so I'm going to drag that in and drop it. It then adds that into the Loop browser, and it starts to process it, and it adds it directly in. Once it's added into the loop browser and it becomes part of the loop browser, um, it defaults by showing it to you Im immediately. You don't have to search for it. You still have to search for it. Now it goes right to it. Now here, because of the tags that were created when it was first made into an Apple loop, you notice that all of those tags are, are relevant now. And you can see them checked here. And you see the original tempo. You see the percentage of how far it is to match and the name. Okay. The other way to add Apple Loops is is if you you know you buy a collection of Apple Loops, or y you you make some Apple Loops, or you want to add a whole group of Apple Loops, you want to put those into a folder. And so that same um, same Apple Loop folder, I'm going to go ahead and drag that that folder here, right here. So you'll notice that this time it is a folder. Now the benefit of you dragging a folder, I'm going to drop it in here and let it add. So it says. Um, first of all, it's going to ask you, do you want to move these into, leave them in the current location or move them into the loops folder? This is important. If you have loops on your desktop and you're dragging them into Logic, um, it's asking you, do you want to keep these loops in your current location? Do you mean you want to leave them on my desktop? Well, pr probably not. Now, if you have a folder or a hard drive full of your loops and you're dragging them from those hard drives before you add them from that hard drive into into the loop browser, you may want to leave them in that hard drive it's a, if it's a secondary hard drive. If you're not, you're dealing with a computer with a lot of plenty of space and your, your loop browser, um, it's okay to fill that up. You can move it into the local loop browser. So leaving in the current location is great for having an external hard drive full of loops and samples. Uh, moving into the loops folder is if you only have one computer and you want to move it from, say, your desktop or a documents folder. So we're going to go ahead and move it to the loops folder and it's importing these loops and it's processing them. Now, there's one major difference between adding an individual loop and adding a folder full of loops. And the benefit of that is, if I click where it says View, down here you see Volume 016. Now that's the folder I just added. Okay, um, So in there, all the Apple loops that are in there are in that folder. So if I click on there, um, you should be able to see a number of uh, files. Actually, there was only one Apple loop in there, actually. Um, so here we go, we, we see um, whatever items are in that folder. Now if I wanted to look to see what's just in this jam pack, these are uh, any grooving files that are just in jam pack 1. So it becomes your own subfolder, your own jam pack, if you will, of Apple Loops. And you can make these Apple Loops, uh, you can open up the standalone loop utility and make Apple Loops all day long, batch convert them, you can buy Apple Loop libraries uh, that are available. You notice all the Apple Loop libraries that be uh, became a default install with um, with Logic Pro 9, including the Voices, World Music, and Symphony, uh, Symphony Orchestra. So, um, there is a bunch of loops already in there, but if you are adding your own, it makes it a subgroup folder here. Now, there is one other way to, uh, to add loops into uh, the loop browser, and I want to show you that now. What you can do as well is if you have a loop here in the timeline, in the arrange window, and you have changed that loop um, to an Apple loop, and you want to then add that into the loop browser, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click on the this Apple loop in the arrange window um, and you want to essentially add it to the loop library okay and by default that's the option that comes up now you can also go to um, the other option is is to to you know basically send it over to the Apple loop library but here you can add it right in the Apple loop library you can click here as well and 
uh, open the Apple Loop utility, that's making the actual Apple Loop, but adding it is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. So what I do is I select that and I add it. When I do that, it basically comes up, it analyzes it, and knows some of the, the hit points. Now I'm, I can name it in here. So instead of this esoteric name, I'm just going to go um, house uh, intro. So here's my name, house intro, and you can change some aspects of the uh, uh, of its uh, search parameters if you choose to, but I'm just going to leave it by default and say create. It's going to go ahead and put that into the Apple Loop library and it adds it right into the browser. Now, I should be able to find that now by typing in house intro right here in the, uh, in the search window. Um, with the amount of Apple Loops that are being juggled around in this situation, there's 12,000 loops here in the grooving s section. Um, you will start to see, like even in my situation with the computer uh, spinning right now, you know, with, if you don't have a whole lot of RAM or you're dealing with a slower computer, uh, you could see uh, this type of functionality where it's really quite slow when it's trying to add these loops in and out of the loop library or if you're just managing uh, these, the, the amount of loops that are available to you. Um, so that loop is now added into uh, this window. So if I search here, I can go house intro. Yeah, let's turn, let's reset that first of all. Now let's do it. House intro. And we'll see if it finds this Apple loop. There it is. And there's our house intro. Just like it plays in here. Again, it shows the tempo, shows the number of beats, and shows that the tempo that you're working on Logic, it uh, matches a uh, 100%. So that's adding Apple Loops in uh, Logic Pro 9 at learnlogicpro.com.